Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wasserman, and today we're going to be looking at comparing and ordering uh, large valued numbers. We are in our everyday math journal on pages 4 and 5, so let's go ahead and get started. The theme of this uh, activity is hockey game attendance. So if I look at the problems 1 through 4, they ask us to write, and then they give you two symbols. What are those symbols? Those are the greater than and less than symbols, or actually the way they are written is less than or greater than, because the way we determine which symbol means which is the direction of the symbol, okay? The way that I like to remember this is that the lazy L leans, and that lazy L equals less. It's a mnemonic device with lots of L's. So if the symbol looks like an L, kind of leaning over, that's your less than symbol. So when I read an inequality or I look at a number sentence and I see one of these two symbols, the less than or the greater than symbol, uh, I want to use the actual term. Okay, so let's take a look at the first problem. 508 is blank compared to 588. Well, the way that we go about doing this is we start with the largest place value. We compare the two place values. So there's a 5 in the hundreds place here, and there's a 5 in the hundred place there. In the second place value, I've got a 0, but over here I have an 8. So 8 is obviously bigger than 0, so that makes this number, 588, bigger. So then how do I write this inequality or write this number sentence? This is how I do it. I would say 508 is less than 588. Now, when you were younger, you probably thought about these symbols in terms of alligators. The alligator always goes for the bigger bite. So you would open the mouth of the alligator towards the larger number, which is fine when you're little, but now that you're in uh, fourth grade and moving up in the world, we need to start using the proper mathematic terms. Speaking of mathematic terms, let's look at number three. 1,833 is blank compared to 1,933. Well, again, I need to start by comparing the place values. So... Let's see here. There's a 1 in the thousands on the left and a 1 in the thousands on the right. There's an 8 on the left in the hundreds and a 9 in the hundreds on the right. 9 is bigger than 8, so once again, the number on the left is less than or smaller than the number on the right. So I would read this statement, 1,833 is less than... 1,933. So that's what I'm doing with those symbols there. Now, moving on to something a little bit more sophisticated. This table shows the hockey, the total attendance for the 2013-2014 regular season for 10 National Hockey League teams, or NHL. So I have a table, and you will oftentimes be presented with information on a table that you need to interpret. Question number five asks, which team had the largest total attendance? Which team had the smallest? So when I look at this table here, I'll notice that all of the numbers run in the hundreds of thousands. I can tell because there's a comma that separates all the place values, and there are three digits on the left side of the comma and three digits on the right side. So I know these are all in the hundreds of thousands, so now I just have to start by focusing on the numbers to the far left side. That's the hundred thousands place value. So as I see, I've got some sevens, some six, some nines. The ones that start with nine are probably going to be the largest. So right here, okay, these two numbers are the largest. Now, again, I have to go beyond 
the 100,000 place value because if they both start with 9, then I have to think a little deeper. The second digit in the tens of thousand place, in the first number, that has a 2, but then the one right below it is a 0. And since 2 is bigger than 0, this number right here is the larger of the two numbers in the 900 thousands place value, which means 927,545 is the largest. And that number belongs to Chicago. That would be the Chicago Blackhawks team. That's the NHL team that plays in Chicago. So which team had the largest total attendance? Well, that would be Chicago. Which team had the smallest total attendance? I would then look over here, and I would ask myself, well, which uh, of these numbers starts with the smallest digit? And there is one right here. Carolina. Car the Carolina NHL team, whose name escapes me right now, is 634,000. Starts with a 6, so that means it's almost 300,000 uh, less than the Chicago Black Sox team. So that would be our smallest team, which I would write their name right here, Carolina. So that's what we're doing here. We're looking at numbers, we're comparing their sizes, and uh, we are going to now put them in order. Hurricanes. That's who the Carolina team is. It's the Carolina Hurricanes. All right. Now, let's take a look at uh, the last problem. Uh, it says, list the teams in order from greatest to least attendance. Greatest to least. So we're going to take all the information from the first table and rearrange it into a different table. Oh, if this was only an Excel or... A Google Sheets spreadsheet. You could just press the sort button and it would sort it for you. But you got to remember, friends, least means littlest. So we're going from biggest to smallest. So again, since we've already identified that Chicago has the largest team, largest is just a synonym or another word that means the same thing as greatest. Largest and greatest mean the same thing. So I would transfer the information into this space. So the team was Chicago, Blackhawks. And then I would write the number of people who attended the regular uh, season. Uh, in attendance was 927, 545. 927,545 spectators. That's a lot of people. And already we know the second largest team because it was the other team that started with 900,000. That's Detroit. Detroit Red Wings. Okay. So again, I would write the name of the city, Detroit. And then the amount. It's 900 something. What was that amount? It was 908,131. 908, comma, 121. Is that right? 31. Those extra 10 players, or I'm sorry, spectators, probably made all the difference. So let's make that a 3. There we go. And that's how we're going to go about reorganizing this table into the greatest to least. Sometimes you want to look at information in different ways. This table is organized by the uh, name of the city from which the team comes from. It's in alphabetical order, starting with B for Buffalo and ending in V with Vancouver. So what we would want to do is make sure that we are uh, thinking about 
how we want to organize our information. Now again, the bottom of my list is going to be my least uh, populous attendance or the smallest group. And we remember that was Carolina. So I'm going to put that right there. Carolina had 634,832. And that, my friends, is how we go about populating this table. If you have any questions about this activity, uh, feel free to have your parents reach out to me. Otherwise, we will talk again soon. Thanks.